What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to do a horse. I did a horse, I think, when I started this channel years ago. Real basic, simple one. <coughs> um, and people seem to like it. So I thought I'd do another horse and maybe do it a little bit more complicated. Like I've gotten better at drawing since then. So, um, which is amazing really. You know, if you just do something every day, you'll get better at it. Simple, art simple, hey. So I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast, right? So horse, he's look he's like his neck is turned and he's looking over his back. So we get some of the back in this time. So let's go. Try have fun. Let's go. Center point of my page about here, up over to the right. We'll do his eye. So it goes do a diagonal. So, and then it kind of wraps around here. There might be some eyelashes just here on the end. And this is like his tear duct. And then this goes around the eye up here. Just thicken this up for the eyelash area. right like so and then there's no sort of sort of iris or pupil right there's just like it's it's colored dark and there is all there's a white highlight sort of left at the top so it's the best way i think to do horses eyes so we'll just like color this black Right, kind of like that. <coughs> then, so some extra eyelid lines kind of coming around. So just coming around here. Another one with a line going down this way. And like a bit of an eyebrow or something here. A line bumping around up the head. So, and then we have some lines coming around the eye underneath. And again, this kind of travel starts to travel down the snout and then some eyelid lines coming around here. So you can add as much of this texture now as you want. <clears throat> right, like that. Right, so then out from here, right, we're gonna do the run of the face, right? So it goes, there's all hair and stuff here, but the snout, so it's just across from the eye, right? We go this way. And it kind of bumps a couple of times. It goes in and then it subtly bumps out. <clears throat> and then it goes down and around here, right? So real long, right? And this bumps around the nostril, which is gonna be sort of in here, right? So it'll go around, around like so. It has another line that comes down from it. Right, and then just with shade inside here, inside his nostril. Okay, it gets lighter as it comes out. It's dark near the top, right? Let's just add a little bit of shade. Like that. And then we've got some nostril lines coming around here. Like so, running up the snout there. So then, <clears throat> this becomes like his mouth, right? So this kind of just like curves around here and joins his top lip, which goes back into here. And we've got like a dark shadow kind of at the end here. Right, like that. And then there's like a lip line, like a wrinkly sort of lip line that goes around there and then goes up that way. And there's all the texture and wrinkles on his skin coming around the lip. 
I didn't do any of this on the last run. Right, so it kind of joins the face and there's all these kind of veins and things, you know. So you might have, say coming down from the eye, it'll go, it'll go here, right? And then in. So lots of these sort of, vein or something here it is fun to draw these details I do like it I know it makes things a little bit more difficult maybe for people watching but <clears throat> I think it does make things more interesting that's maybe it's just me right so then we we'll do his bottom lip, so it kind of sticks out a bit. All right, it goes around here. Kind of wrinkles. Wrinkles and stuff here. And this kind of goes up then this way. Like that. And then we have this big round jaw, okay? So, <clears throat> big round sort of jaw area here. Sort of curves around. It, goes, it eventually disappears up under the hair. And then hit the bottom of that jaw will just come around here. Sort of texture coming around these if you want. Goes up in there. There's all hair that covers this, so you can't really see everything. It's like a line that goes back that way. All right, so his ears kind of stick up here, so we'll just go like right up near the top of my page. Okay, and it goes behind hair, so we can't see it all, but it, it comes down. Like into here, and then we have some like skin lines that sort of come around and join the head. Okay. And then the inside of the ear sort of comes around here. And then again, some more sort of lines where it joins the head there. Right? Then the other ear will stick up behind it. <clears throat> it's a bit smaller. It's back here. So then we have a fringe going this way and a mane coming down this way, right? So we'll do the fringe first. So we just add like these hair spikes. Coming down here. You can do this any way you want really. coming down over the face as well depending on <clears throat> you know how you what type of hair you want to give it of course we'll go for sort of semi long just coming down here All right like so Okay, and then the big long mane that comes down here, right? So it's kind of like combed, but it's coming back and then it kind of bumps down, right? So it kind of flows down the neck. <clears throat> right down here. So it's all, where does it stop? It goes the whole way, so we got like, so real long, covering most of the neck here. You might have some sticking out here. Okay. 
So lots of these kind of texture lines and stuff now. <clears throat> and it'll go all the way up behind the ear, right? So you'll have some coming out from behind the ear. And if you go over any of your facial lines, you can just erase those. can draw over these things and it won't impact things much. Right, so the neck sort of comes down this way. Right, and it'll kind of, <clears throat> yeah, it's probably in behind the head here. Right, so we got some necklines then that'll go come across the body, sort of here, probably joins this sort of area, right? And then all folding skin and stuff coming down here. like the inside of that neck there it should be a shoulder or something here maybe some some neck we should see some neck maybe here yeah I think we should <clears throat> and kind of his shoulder on that side That. And then like another maybe skin fold here. Like so. Right, and then his back, so it just run off my page, right? So it kind of curves up and then down. Like so. And then there's like some anatomy and muscles and stuff, right? So you've got like some lines here. You cover the chest and shoulders, armpit going that way. <clears throat> and like the spinal kind of area running down his back here. And then like where the leg starts that way and like his ribs and things <clears throat> there's all these muscles and big animal just thicken up the edge Just thickening up my edge lines, darkening things up. And then <clears throat> as much sort of folds and, and stuff as you want. What I think that'll do that is how to draw a horse. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.